what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clear in the crowd Hold on, wait, let me jump my bag New niggas just copy and paste that sack Go get some money, go get you a bag New bitch from Philly might buy her back What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani And you are tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview And today, who do we got in the building? We got Bam in here, you heard from me Shout out Talk of the Town, you heard we here Jersey mm -hmm. We got a lot of stuff to get into, so let's just dive right into it. So you just said Jersey. What part of Jersey are you from? I'm from North, North New Jersey. Okay, and what was it like growing up in North? It was cool. It was like fun. Like, <laughs> feel me? It was like everybody else where it, like where it is. Everybody, where everybody else from. Feel me? The hood. But you know, it's fun when you young. Okay. So how would you compare like the way that you grew up to like how life is now? You still in North? Yeah, I'm still in North. Okay. It's different. Like, Lifestyles is whole different. Like before, we were like we was down, you heard, but like now we just doing whatever we want to do, mm -hmm. how we want to move. And how you moving? Like what? What is so different about it? Like that you could like what? Is it the it's money? Is just, it the it's everything? Cloud? Just the lifestyle. Like lifestyle is just different. You heard? Like okay, we live the things we do. You heard? It's just niggas that's nineteen not doing what we doing. Mm. Niggas just not doing how we. Okay, okay. So when you were growing up, like who who were you listening to? Um, I listened to a lot of like Future. I'm a big fan of Tupac and shit. Mm -hmm. But like other than that, I wasn't really like I ain't really fuck with a lot of niggas. I used to really listen to like a lot of old school music. So I started fucking with Future and shit. He was really like the first nigga that really like in this generation. I started fucking. With. Okay, so you didn't say you were listening to like any Jersey club or anything. So when did that come into the picture? When did you start? Everybody, if you from Jersey, you. You have no choice but to listen to Jersey. Club. But you didn't say that. I don't count that because like I'm not like natural. when I'm in my crib, I'm not about to like yo. Let me listen to Jersey Club. Uh huh. It's just when you go to a party or something like that's, that's just, what they playing. It's the music, but I'm not like when I was young, I wasn't like oh, let me just go listen to Jersey Club. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what got you into rapping over the Jersey beat? Um, uh, just cause like nobody really was like nobody did it before. Okay. Like people tried it. And like it was a few people in Jersey doing it. I ain't really know about like um, uh, somebody named Unicorn. I think he was like the first ever person okay, to yeah. do it. He from uh, it Jersey and shit. But, like I ain't even I ain't have no clue about him until like after I start uh, doing it and shit. So I was just trying shit for him. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so I know that I saw in an interview that you did. You said your dad was a DJ. And you have mm -hmm. brothers are that are rappers as yeah. well. Do you think that influenced you into getting into the rap lane or? Nah, yeah, definitely because like. The same way, like, I record, like, because I used to record everything in my crib, like, mm. with the homies. I'm like, the same way I record, like, is the same way my brother used to record. Like, my brother used to have everybody at the house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everybody in the hood used to come to my house to record. And I used to be young just watching them and shit like that. So, like, right. I used to like the lifestyle. So, it, like, kind of came naturally to Yeah, you. for real, honestly. Okay. So, what would you say is so different about your sound in comparison to, <clears throat> like, you said you weren't the first one to rap over the Jersey Club beat, but what do you think made your sound so different that everybody started fucking with it? Um, because, like, I'm really hard, one, like, let's not, <laughs> like, I'm really hard, but, like, aside from that, like, I'm young and, like, this, like, this, like, I don't like to call it drill music, but, like, mm -hmm. it's just the way I rap. It's just different. Like I write for the new age. Like I, I feel like I rap ahead of my time. Like with the Jersey Club shit, I don't really see nobody else that's my age. Mm -hmm. Like really rapping like that. You heard like niggas be you feel me singing and you feel me doing their little melodies and shit. But like, I'm really talking on these shits. So what would you? What do you think is the different? Is it like what you're talking about? Is it the way that your flow is? Like what is it? What's the difference? Cause yeah, it's like cause you feel me like. You just got to listen to it and find out. You heard, like, I mean, we tapped in. Me? If you tapped in, then, like, you, you know you heard, like, anything I say is authentic. Like, I never uh -huh. really, I, ca I don't cap in my raps, but, man, you heard anything I say is shit that I go through on the day-to-day, -day, you heard, I just put on a song. Okay. So, you know, you slid into the Talk of the Town comments recently mm -hmm. under mm -hmm. a post that we made um, just regarding Philly music and how it mm -hmm. sounds similar to the Jersey music and how the dancing is the same too. Yeah. Now I want to get your thoughts on that because do you think that it sounds the same for one? That's going to be the I first mean, one. Of course it sounds the same. It's on the same, like, they rap on Jersey club beat. So okay. of course it's, it's like the exact same. Mm -hmm. There's no difference between them. There's no difference. It's just that they just start doing it. Uh-huh. And I don't think, do you dance? 
Okay. No, I don't, but, but I, everybody but you know, in Jersey knows. Right, you tapped in. No, I just wanted to make sure before I said that. So you don't dance, but what are your thoughts on the dancing? Now, do you think the dancing is similar? Do you think it's no? Nah, it, everything is just literally like copy and paste. Really? So yeah. are you are you a believer of like imitation being the best form of flattery? How does that make you feel? Because you say a lot on behalf of Jersey. Yeah. You represent Jersey, and yeah. in this case, you're representing Jersey. So what are your thoughts on that? How do y'all feel about? I mean, like, you doing. could see, like, I, I didn't really say too much. All I said on the post was, oh, man, Jersey start, you feel me, uh -huh. doing what they do. It's just like, I don't know, like, they see the same thing I'm seeing. They just like, da, 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 da. We've been trying to do this for, I don't know how long, 22 years. And then some niggas from another state just come doing the same shit we do. Mm -hmm. and it's just like, now they saying they made it. Nah, you can't do that for real. You got to pay homage, you know, bro. Right. But it's like. I ain't no hater you heard. I fuck with it. I fuck with the movement, but it's just like, you feel me? This our shit. Like, it's Jersey club music. Mm -hmm. Got a big stamp on it, you heard. And do you feel like TikTok has something to do with this? Maybe with the confusion? Nah, yeah, definitely. Because, like, TikTok, that's the whole world, you heard? Like, uh -huh. over here, like, we understand because we live in it. Like, the right. whole world, this is their first time seeing it. So, whatever they, the you feel me, your first impression is everything. So, mm -hmm. whatever they seeing, that's what they're going to run with but you know right because i know, think you from here you know i think that's really like what has a lot to do with it because i think that everybody who's in kind of like the tri-state area knows what's up with the jersey club mm. music and all of that because even i've listened to jersey club for music and i'm not even from jersey yeah. but i think that when it started getting lit on tiktok mm. and it was like the philly niggas i was doing it i think maybe that's why people started carrying yeah, that but it's narrative. like but it's like like Jersey club music, like been popping on TikTok. Like when I when I drop Heartbroken, mm -hmm. is when Jersey club music like fully completely took over TikTok. It's mm -hmm. like every slide you go up is Jersey club, Jersey club, Jersey club, Jersey mm -hmm. club, and it's like you feel me. Like they just start doing the same shit I was doing. You heard? Mm -hmm. And they made you feel me. But it's like at the end of the day, I give them credit. You heard? Because as a as a uh, whatever Philly like a city, you heard as a city they came together, they did that shit. Mm -hmm. you feel me? It's still still us. You heard? Still Jersey. Okay, so on behalf of Jersey, can you put us on to like some Jersey artists that maybe should be on our radars, people we should be listening to? Because I know, you know, we've had a lot of Philly niggas up here. So yeah, who are you um, listening to from Jersey? Shit, in Jersey, we got we got the mafia. They in the back. You heard? You can't sing. We got my son G. Rail, G. Gotti. You heard? Mm -hmm. But like others, I want artists. BBG Stepper. He hard. I just got another new artist today for Guala. He hard. Okay. My other artist locked up right now. His name Do Sav. He hard too. Okay. Like, okay. Um, other than that, and that, who else in Jersey? Really going too crazy. Um. All shout right. out Torch. He hard. All right. But, so um, other than that, we gonna yeah. pivot away from that. We are gonna talk about you. So we were just talking about TikTok, and you've been going up on TikTok, millions on millions on millions. How has that been coming up on TikTok? <clears throat> um. Um. That shit. That shit. Think? That shit was a crazy feeling. Like TikTok was my first ever um like platform to ever go up, you heard. So like mm -hmm. that shit was crazy. I wasn't expecting that shit. I thought it was gonna be like anything else. So what was your reaction when you got like your first million views? Did you notice when it happened? On on, on TikTok. When I got my first million views on TikTok, I was like I was like, damn, you could I don't know. The first thing I thought was like, damn, this shit really could work. Uh -huh. like, that's the first thing I said. Like that shit just unlocked like a new chapter for me so was it like surprise was it a damn this shit could work as in like you wasn't expecting it to or was it like just reassurance that it really could nah it's just more like reassurance cause okay like, it's like i kind of manifested this shit like i always knew someday this shit was gonna come it's just i just didn't know it was gonna come that fast mm -hmm. and off some stupid shit that i was just trying yeah like you feel me so but i feel like you feel me? It, was, it was a blessing though and you came up like you did it in an interesting way because i feel like you put your music on TikTok, but you also had like kind of like skits too at yeah, the same like, time. Like for me, we call we call it gelling in Jersey. Like I just used to be gelling. You heard like all my fans. Like if you know, like before like, I was rapping, all I used to do was just hike on people. Like, okay, to, like, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to stop right. you. You just used two words that I'm very <clears throat> unfamiliar with. All right. I said. can't really explain. Like <laughs> I can't really explain like the words you heard. Hiking is like when you like. In New York, y'all call it cutting ass, right? Okay. Okay, so right. I, like, in New York, they ain't really used to like me hurt because I used to be hiking on all the rappers. I used to go on <laughs> their lives and just start rushing them. Okay. So that's how I really got known. Like, I got known for, like, fucking with New York artists. Like, I think my first little skit, the one up, is when um, I had did some shit to the nigga, um, 
he from Brooklyn, uh, Freshy. I had okay. to do like a, a little skit to his shit, and the whole New York was like, yo, this nigga, bam, man, fuck this nigga, da, 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 da. I, I just took that shit and ran with it. Mm-hmm. Just, just kept doing that. That's how I really started off. So being that you didn't start off doing music, what was the reaction from people when they saw that you were kind of moving from doing the comedy stuff and the skits to actually making music? I was always fake, like making music in the back. Like I always was working. Like mm-hmm. as I was doing the little skits and shit, like the little skits was really only to get my like face card out there. You okay. Because like, I really stopped doing the skits like once I hit like 10k followers. I'm like, oh nah, it's over for that. Like now nah, I got a little following. I can really do mm-hmm. what I want to do. Okay, that was a nice little marketing. Nah, too. for sure. That's really what it really was. It was just like a little plan you heard, and then like I just kept going with it in a little smart way you heard. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, so now. Taking it to Instagram, how did you feel when you got your first your first blue check? Well, your only blue check on Instagram. Blue check, that shit right there, that shit is crazy. Her. Like you could hit anybody. <laughs> yo. I'm telling you, like yo, when you get your blue check, you could get any bitch you want. You can hit anybody. Oh. Like I promise you, bro. Niggas in the background looking at me like I'm crazy. Let me find out you was using the, the blue check. Niggas in the background looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. The blue check, uh, yo, you feel like that nigga? Where you get the blue check. But you heard, don't mind me, you heard, I got a bitch. I'm just talking. But Ooh. I'm just saying, like, okay. that was back in the day. Okay, well, we're going to get into that in a little bit. We're not going to gloss over that. Okay, so sure. now we moved from TikTok to Instagram. Now let's get to YouTube because your music was going up on YouTube and mm-hmm. then something happened there. Yeah, they took my um, YouTube page. Why did that happen? I don't even know you heard. I just, I had dropped my last video Um. It was called Shake It. It was like some strippers in it and shit. Mm-hmm. So they was like some nudity. But that was like one strike. You're supposed to get three. And they had told me I had like uh, two other strikes on like, because before I started dropping music, I used to make YouTube videos mm-hmm. with females and shit. And like have music in the background. So they started putting like. Like copyright? Yeah, like the little shit. But they was private that you heard. Mm-hmm. They was like, nah, it don't matter. Three strikes. Blah, blah. I'm like, all right, fuck that shit. I'm just Okay. Did that discourage you at all? Or was you just like, fuck Nah, because, you know? like, that shit really don't matter. Like, if you got it, you got it. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, like, I, I knew if I make another account, just, you know, you, I could go get that right back. Okay. And it don't really seem like much was lost, like, aside yeah, nah. from the videos. But, like, in terms of your traction and stuff, it seems yeah. like you're still going up. Yeah. Do you feel like you have the support of Jersey? I mean, I see all people here, so clearly yeah, nah, you got support. But definitely. do you feel like Jersey yeah, nah. got your back? 100%. Like, they be they be talking for me like I don't even be having to say nothing like mm-hmm. shit that I be thinking they just be going ahead and saying it like I really fuck with my state like to the fullest like and I'm talking about from the top to the bottom. Like, that's dope. So where do you, do you think that's where you get the most support or do you feel like you get support in other areas? Too? I get a, I get a lot of support in Jersey. Like I ain't really like I've been traveling but I ain't really traveled on some like like shows kind of mm-hmm. vibe. So like for now yeah I feel like Jersey give me the most. Okay, and so how has it been, like, because you grew up in Jersey, you still living in Jersey, yeah. how how is it, like, walking down the street, do people be recognizing you and one, speaking to you? I'm not pictures? walking down no streets, that's oh. crazy, well, that's excuse one. excuse me. <laughs> but nah, like, nah, like it's excuse cool, though, like, in Jersey, like, Jersey a real big state, like, mm-hmm. it's just, like, I'll just be, you just gotta watch how you move around north, around, like, or it's Texas County, mm-hmm. but after that, like, Jersey, it's like, Ooh, like everywhere else, like when you you get do you. Okay. Have still you ever watch your body though? Have you had any like crazy type of interactions with anybody out in public? Yeah. Yeah, like it's, what? <laughs> I don't know. Like people people seeing me start screaming and, and fainting and shit. That shit crazy. Like Does that make you feel good? Does it make you feel weird? How does that make you feel? I don't know. It just I fuck with it though because it's like you're doing it because of me, but it's like it's like damn out here though. Like in public, public? in front of everybody. But nah, I love all that you heard. Okay, so I saw that you had you collabed with Asian Doll. Yeah, I made just get jump. Yeah, yeah. How was that? How was working with her? Oh, that that was raw. You heard. Um, we had um. I had recorded that in, in my boy Bankroll Goddess Studio mm-hmm. uh, in uh, Cali. And um, he had said he was going to get a female artist on it. And I was like, all right, whoever. He was like, Asian. I was like, fuck it. She threw her verse on there. Then it was hard. We locked in ever since. Okay. And when you making collabs with people, do you have suggestions for who you want to collab with? Do you lean to, like, the opinions of your team? Nah, I, I pretty much hold a lot of, like, creative 
control, but like I always mm-hmm. open. I'm always open to like um, new ideas and shit. Like, like if my team feel like my sound is sound good with somebody else's sound, if, mm-hmm. it, if it sound right, then I fuck with it. Okay, so who are like three people that you would like to collab with? I want to collab with Future. Okay. Um, Got to get one in with Drake here. I gotta get one in with Tory Lanez. Hmm. Okay. Shit. I'm trying to picture Drake on a Jersey Club beat. Drake hop on whatever. I know. I'm I'm picturing it. Not doesn't sound bad in my mind. Okay. So where do you where do you get your beats from? Like, do you come up? This young man who right you here. To? Okay. This young man right here. Give him a shout out because they right. can't see who this young man is shout. from. Why why he, he can't pop out in the camera? Just show face. Nah. I mean, I mean come on, real quick, real heard. quick. This will make all the greatness you heard, all the beats you heard. <laughs> <laughs> this will make it's all the way my beats for you me. heard. MC Vert, he make all my beats pretty much all of them. You heard me snapping. Okay, so do the so. Okay, you kind of answered what I'm about to ask you, but when it comes to the samples, mm-hmm. do you already have an idea of what kind <clears> of samples? <throat> does it already come? I don't to know. You that should that be way? crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, he just be picking some shit, and like sometimes, like. We both be having the same sample in mind sometimes. Okay. Like, but it'd be like, I don't know. Like, he'd be having hard ideas, and I'd be having hard ideas. So, we just put it sorry, I'm not trying to cut you off. Whose Google. idea was it to do Heartbroken? Because, first of all, I was listening to that song in middle school. Not yeah. when it was sampled, though. But the original. I don't know, Mo. And yeah, I was like, it was his idea. Shout out G Mo. That was his idea. That's yeah. dope. That's really dope. So, what are some other songs that you would like to sample or you would like to use? Um, you got any in mind? I got a sample that one song. I don't know if they ever going to clear it. Um, that Hips Don't Lie song. Oh, Shakira. 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 You know, they probably okay. Some slime bullshit. Yeah. Take my shit down or some shit. So, how do you feel about that? Do you would you still put a song out that sampled if it's not clear? Do you hold oh, yeah. it? I do that shit, yeah? bro. Like eighty percent or like seventy percent of my songs that was out was not clear. Mm-hmm. Not making no money off just dropping them shit, dropping them shit, dropping them shit. Mm-hmm. But it was like a few of them we was able to like remake and get clear. Though Heartbroken was, I think, it was one of them that we had got clear. Okay, okay, that's dope. So we talking about the beats now. Let's get into the lyrics. Are the lyrics based on real life? Are you? Um, Are you really dependent? What you, yeah. Dependent, you say? Yeah. All right, so we're going to dive right into it. I don't it. condone it, no criminal activity. If I said anything that I said, anything criminal. I oh, we're not going to do that to you. We're not going to do that to you. That out there. But what we will do is you said, <clears throat> y'all females know on close friends. You say, y'all females know what y'all be doing on close friends trying to add me. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> 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 now, Everything that we talk about right now is going to be a legend because I'm not trying to get you caught up. But, like, what are your thoughts on the... First of all, was that big? Is that real life? Females be adding you on close friends trying to shoot their shot? What? All yeah. the time, you heard. Like, that That should be weird. Like, I just be opening up my gram and I just be on, like, wild new people, close friends. And I just know they be going for trying to be seen type shit. That's why I made the song. I I'm made weak. the song because I opened up my phone and I was just on, like, all these little bitches, close friends, and they just, little bitch. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I know what y'all be doing on close friends. <laughs> okay. So, does it work? No, 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 no. I got a girl, you heard. I okay. Did it work? Now. Excuse me. Did it work when you were open? It was nobody in <laughs> that threw you in the close friends. You was like, oh. A few. Not all of them. They be trying to work it sometimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, they be, Okay. Allegedly, or in the past, do they be trying to shoot their shot at you? Like, do girls try to shoot their shot at you? All the time. Yeah. All the time. And does that work? Back Did that work? Day, it depends. Like, if you, it depends on how you. Okay. Work, how you carry yourself. Okay, so next thing, very interested in hearing, cause you you cuff, but you was Mister Don't Cuff That <laughs> for a long. You made it very known that you was Mister Don't Cuff yeah, That. Yeah, nah, that was like you heard. I just you feel me. I want some new shit you heard. I'm trying shit. You heard. The homie said I'm trying shit. I'm just trying shit. So since you shot her out, you making it known. What was it about this one that made it different from the bitches and your close friends, the ones that were shooting their shots? What was it that you was looking for that made you turn from Mr. Don't Cuff That to now you cuffing? I don't know you heard. I just got out of Nook. Like, okay. Know, like a lot of Nook bitches don't really be having shit. Okay. Okay. 
right. so which one do you prefer when it comes to like recording music <clears throat> or performing which one do you like more recording music or performing mm -hmm. definitely performing what is it about performing that makes you like so much it's just like the connection like all these people like they did they there for you mm -hmm. like you just like when you're on that stage today it's like it's no other feeling like you just be on different so you um, like feed off energy. i like that shit. like i like performing this shit. like before i used to rap i used to be boxing and shit. i used to like i just like being in front of people and just feeding off of energy yeah okay so what's been like the best performance that you've had so far <clears throat> the best performance i had is between my first ever show that i had with coyla ray and my very last show i just had in boston uh it was boston right yeah boston Okay. What she made those? Rocking. What was it? The energy? Shit was what? rocking. Her, yeah. Just the energy. Actually, that was me and EK show. Me and EK turned that shit right up. When you first performed, like, when you think back to, like, your first performance, did people in the audience know your song? Or, yeah. Yeah? They did? Yeah. This was, like, right when, like right after Heartbroken um, popped off. I was never doing no performances, like, before I... Okay. Like, so you waited until, like, you got yeah, up Yeah, no, I don't even like that feeling you heard, like, just rapping... You just looking at me like I ain't like that. K Flock? Nah, Coil Ray was my first show. K Flock shit was after. Okay, okay, okay. So that um was rocking too. Yeah, we was we was in the yeah, building. Was we was in the building that, that one. That rocking. one was lit. Mm, bro. Um, so do you have okay, first, if you envision like a dream lineup where you was like the headliner you had we not going to consider them openers because they mm -hmm. could be like mainstream artists yeah who would you put in a show with band man if you was in charge of the lineup like how many how many people you could choose five all right gotta be me mm -hmm. dirt little baby um yeah since oh, you gotta put uh auto whip up there they love okay that okay and who else i need one of the homies i was just about to say that like just give me give me somebody upcoming mm, somebody upcoming so i'm gonna have to put bbg up there I'm gonna have, that's my five right that's there. your five and it gotta be in jersey for dental center okay that's that's a that's a valid venue okay cool so do you have any collabs on the way that we can be looking out for. I just made a uh, me and EK about to drop. Uh, after I think we dropping like two, three more weeks. Um, I got a song with Cookie Kawa coming. Oh, I got a lit. song with a, a singer from Philly, Lay Bank. Oh, okay. Um, other than that, that's it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, have you received any like cosigns so far from people that? Yeah. Um. Like when I first started, my first ever cosign was Coyle Ray. Okay, that's dope. Fetty Wap, uh, Jim Jones, Polo G. Um, and you, you did a show with Polo G, right? Yeah, we had a show at mm -hmm. um, the, uh, American Dream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How was that? That shit was crazy. I was wondering that shit how that. Was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, that's dope. Okay, so um, interesting. Interested to hear like I'm what's agree. a fun fact? Are you sleeping? about don't be sleeping we almost done um what's a what's a fun fact about you that people don't know oh i'm broke so don't ask me for no money <laughs> i am broke i don't have any money so all like family that ain't been around all these stuff that you hearing that i got this i did not i am broke so don't ask me for no money. so has that been happening like now that you going up people asking you favors that got Bro, their hands out what I, I done got uncles that talking about they from North Carolina. I never met you in my life. I'm not giving you a dumb. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, does it stay like that no matter, like, how up you go? Or is that <clears throat> just, Listen, like, mm -hmm. Niggas was not with me when niggas was down, you heard. So mm -hmm. if you wasn't there before, you're not going to be there. And no matter who you is, family, I bleed black. I don't care about none of that shit. Okay, so it's like you picked your side, you stay on it. If you wasn't there before, it's not even about a picking side. It's just like you was never on my side. So like, why would you be now? Okay, all right. I hope y'all watching and listening. So, what advice would you give to an upcoming artist? 
Shit, just be yourself. Don't, don't try to be like nobody. Don't try to sound like nobody. Just do you. Niggas don't like you for who you is, and they ain't for you. Okay. And what can we expect next from you? Shit. Probably about like four more singles, and I'm jumping right into an EP or a tape. Right now, I'm about to actually, after this interview, I'm about to go start recording my album. Oh, lit. Okay, so any, I know you say you about to jump into it, but any idea on when we could be expecting that? I don't want to say too much. Okay, but we'll be on the lookout. We're going to be on the lookout. So All right. Soon, okay, okay. So is there anything else that you would like to talk about, cover before we wrap this up? Nah, you heard. I think, I think that's about anything you heard. G Batman, you heard. Thank you for having me. Talking to town. Shout out, Cole. Thank you for coming. Shout Appreciate out your you. social medias and all of that. Everywhere at Bam and Real, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. It's all the same. All right.